Hello everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Stimulus Updates, your go-to channel for the most recent news and updates on various monetary and fiscal stimulus initiatives. I am Alai, your host, and I am pleased to inform you that we have some very exciting news to share with you today. However, before we get into the changes for today, Make sure that you click the button to subscribe and that you set on the notification bell so that you are never left without an update on anything that has to do with stimuli. During these trying times, we are here to keep you informed and to give you the power to make decisions. Let's get right down to business, shall we? What we are going to do today is delve deep into the center of a financial storm that has the potential to transform the landscape of our wallets as well as the economy of the nation. Let's get right into it. Consider the month of August in the year 2021, when our pockets were virtually bulging with an incredible $2.1 trillion in savings. It was as if we were swimming in a sea of affluence, completely oblivious to the fact that the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco was observing each and every one of our financial transactions with keen eyes. With the passage of time, we have arrived at the present day, where the enormous amount has been reduced to a modest $500 billion. This is not simply another financial report. Rather, it is a revelation that is supported by a recent study that has the potential to transform the course of our economy. Hold on to your hats, because your heads are about to explode. The significance of this study, which was conducted by the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco, may be something that you are now wondering about. To put it another way, envision it as a financial compass. A global positioning system, GPS for our money which can anticipate when we might require an additional stimulus check or an additional push. However, before we go into the nuances of this study, let's take a look at the current situation of the finances of our nation. The message that the authorities are trying to convey is very clear. Spend that money. They are urging us to circulate currency, breathe life into the economy, and keep the gears turning rather than keeping it for a rainy day. This is because they believe that this will be more beneficial. Nevertheless, why is this push so important? To what extent does this have an impact on the typical citizen? Political motivations are not the only thing at play here. The key is to have a solid awareness of the intricate dance that takes place between our spending patterns and the economic forces that affect our nation. Putting away an excessive amount of money might result in inflation, which is a perilous circumstance that no one wants to find themselves in. As a result of inflation, the purchasing value of money decreases, making it extremely important for funds to circulate rather than remain stable. Now that we have established the jaw-dropping fact that we have $500 billion in our collective pockets, let us discuss it. It really seems like a tremendous sum, doesn't it? Keep that notion in mind. According to the forecasts made by the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco, it is possible that we may be confronted with a scarcity of cash sooner than we had anticipated, either by the end of this year or around the beginning of the following year. This is not a scene from a post-apocalyptic science fiction novel. It's the truth that we have to face right now. Based on the findings of the investigation, the once impressive sum of $2.1 trillion has decreased to a total of $500 billion. Besides, the time is not yet over. Why then? Does this sum of $500 billion not appear to be as important when it is distributed across the nation? At this point, the plot becomes more complicated. During times of economic hardship, a stimulus check becomes more than just a kind of financial assistance. As a result, it becomes a vital resource, providing the economic engine with the fuel that it so desperately requires. This is the lift that the economy has been looking for, the catalyst that keeps the gears turning steadily. However, how does it function? How would you feel if you had a significant quantity of cash in your pocket? When things are going well, it could be compared to a lovely wind. It is not earth-shattering, but it is certainly enjoyable. On the other hand, let's fast forward to the present day, when our wallets are struggling to survive in the current economic climate, and the stage is being prepared for a spectacular economic show. The distribution of stimulus checks at this time might prove to be a game-changer. A turn of events that we all require unexpectedly. 
Allow me to make a comparison. The amount of $2 trillion that we had in August of 2021 was comparable to throwing stones into a lake that was already completely full. There was an influence that was felt. It is almost as if they are communicating to us that we should not hoard all of that money for ourselves, but rather put it into circulation. In what location does this Bank of San Francisco, which is a watchful guardian that keeps a careful eye on the economic gears that keep our nation going forward, have its headquarters? Therefore, why should we be concerned about this report? Because it is not simply about the numbers. Rather, it is about the delicate dance that takes place between our money and the economic forces that are at work. If we were to spread the $500 billion that are still in our collective pockets around the country, it is possible that they would not be as important as they appear to be. Get ready for the unexpected turn of events that is about to take place. The projections make it so that there is a risk that we will exhaust our available money earlier than we had anticipated, as early as the end of this year or the beginning of the following year, depending on the circumstances. Despite the fact that it may sound like something out of a science fiction novel, this is the true things, and it is not political ambitions or conspiracy theories. In this context, it is essential to have an understanding of how the intricate web of the economy is influenced by the patterns of investment that we make. There is a possibility that we will experience inflation if we save an excessive amount of money. There is a possibility that the $500 billion that are still in our collective pockets when distributed over the world are not as significant as they appear to be today. There is a risk that we will run out of funds earlier than we had anticipated, possibly by the end of this year or at the beginning of the following year, as indicated by the projections. It's possible that you're questioning why this is such a huge problem at this point. You might be surprised to learn that we still have $500 billion in our possession, which may appear to be a very large sum. On the other hand, when you consider the scope of the situation over the entire country, it is a little drop in the economic ocean. They are going to make this projection, so everybody should brace themselves. The delicate dance that takes place between us, our wallets, and the economy is the key to understanding everything that is going on. When we are in a bad financial condition, a stimulus check becomes a lifeline, supplying an economy that is starving with the sustenance it would want to have. The likelihood is that we will spend it right away, helping to give the economy the much-needed boost it needs. On the other hand, there is more to this vast design than initially appears to be the case. In a sense, this study is like looking into our financial souls and attempting to foresee when we might require that additional push or that additional stimulus check. Essentially, it functions as a global positioning system or a financial compass for our wallets. This highly acclaimed study obtained its information from the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco, which is the source of the study. It's hard to wrap one's head around the fact that thousands upon thousands of dollars or trillions of dollars were in our possession without being conscious of it. Guess what, however? They were aware. They were keeping a close check on our financial activities and were documenting every stealthy dime. First, let's take a brief trip back in time to August 2021, when we were taken aback to see that our wallets were stuffed to the brim with an astounding $2.10 trillion in savings. I had the impression that I had been given a sudden windfall, a moment of financial prosperity. The fact that this surplus was being meticulously monitored and that a sizable amount of it would be gone in just a few months